In your book, A Mile in My Shoes, you write a great deal about building compassion for our neighbors, especially those among us that are marginalized. Um, can we also, or how can we also build compassion for our adversaries? And in our context right now with the conversations happening, it would be those with whom we vehemently disagree. Are there any first few steps that we can take? Right. Well, the, let me, I think it's important and not to neglect this to really begin with those closest to us. Yeah. I think there is, you know, there is something, there is something, um, inconsistent if I'm struggling for justice on the streets but not loving the person who's closest to me so I don't want in any way to um, I don't want in any way to to soften the the real challenge to grow a compassionate heart for those who are closest to us I think in terms of growing a compassion for our adversaries, uh, and I'm not too sure who you have in mind when you use the word adversary, but I think I would say I would always want to begin to, I would want to begin by listening to my adversary. Um, that when I disagreed with my adversary to really be curious in terms of what what lies behind what they believe? How, have, how do they understand the world? How do they see the world? I would really want to seek a deeper understanding of where my adversary is coming from. And I, I, I do think that that desire to understand is a deep expression of compassion. I think most deeply of all, I'd want to say that I think that if I'm growing genuinely in compassion, it will, it will spill out in whatever relationship I'm in. That, it's, that compassion isn't, it isn't something, it isn't a quality I turn on or off. That if compassion is really growing within me, it's going to spill out because it's my way of being. It's, it's who I am becoming. It's not a posture that I have in one setting and don't have in another. Um, I think that's the best I can do, although, with that particular question of yours. Mm. 